Today, steel MS250. Couple things wrong, we got the clutch uh, not disengaging and also the kill switch. So, let's start tearing into her. All right, so let's start with uh, taking off the bar and chain. And we're just gonna clean this up a little bit. So yeah, spinning this right now, this should spin pretty freely. And then the brake is not on. If you give an example of the brake being on, now you can't turn it, so. Something's getting stuck over here. So I figured we might as well just replace it. No biggie. So let's get some tools, take the C-clip off, and then start peeling everything back. So yeah, it's uh, supposed to be one piece. There's definitely there's definitely a ridge that's ground down into this, so it's been like that for a while. Got some uh, the springs that came apart there for the shoes. The bearing looks okay. All right, now we're going to have to take this cover off. We're going to have to take off the spark plug now to be able to get that clutch off. Okay, so what we're gonna do, shove some rope down here. All right, so now to take this clutch off, it's reverse thread. That broke it loose. Nice. So let's take this thing off. Then we have a washer here. Then we have the oiler. All right, not too bad. So let's, uh, let's try to clean some of this crud off here. So that way when we put the new stuff on, it's not against it. So 
So let's start with the new oiler. Okay. Then we have going to need this. We have the new clutch, and that's going to spin left to be tightened. And since we left the rope in there, all we have to do is tighten her up. So also tighten up while you are uh, cutting wood. So don't be too worried about getting it super, super tight. Snug is good. Then let's take our new bearing. Put that on there. We'll take our new clutch. And then you see this line here has to line up to our uh, oiler, which is down here now. There you go. Our new little washer and then our c-clip perfect then we can take our rope out The kit also came with a brand new spark plug, so we're gonna throw that guy in. Cool. So the next issue that we're having is when you go up to uh, kill it, for whatever reason, the wire is not making contact in here. Let's see if we get a better shot. So yeah, there's a wire here, and then there is a uh, flat piece of metal there. So when you push this up to kill it, it's not actually killing the motor. So um, if we go and we take a look at this, we'll, we'll take this out and uh, inspect it. So it looks like this rod, uh, this right here just kind of jumped. Yeah, that that's what happened. So we'll put this back in here. Boom. So that should kill it. These wires are now touching. Cool. All right, let's uh, put this back together. We'll have to actually clean the air filter, but for the purpose of this video, we're just going to run it.
Okay, that fits. Now the chain and the bar. Put that back on. Okay, so when to go try it. Went to go try the chainsaw and for whatever reason it would not spin freely like this. So what I found was that the actual um, clutch, I found that the actual clutch teeth are not the same for the steel uh, chain. So luckily, um, looking at the inside of this clutch, it's not that bad. We do have the new um, the new pads in there still. And then another problem I noticed was the oiler that came with the new package. It sits on the thing a little too tight. It sits on the shaft a little too tight. So that was causing it to also bind. So we have the old oiler and the old clutch uh, flywheel here. So other than that, it spins nice and smooth now, so we're gonna put the cover back on and then go try it for real. I'd say that's pretty good. Let's go. Uh, let's go cut some wood. Right here, I'm just testing to make sure that the clutch was both engaging and disengaging without killing the motor. Uh, as you can see, I'm really not trying to cut a log here, so you don't have to rip me a new one in the comments. So here, the steel MS250 is now fixed. And what I say, is it good for cutting 16, 18 inch rounds, cutting out in the woods? I'd say no, not uh, when you have a brand new 291, which comes standard with the 18 inch bar. It's got plenty more power. You don't have to worry about it bogging down. We did a side-by-side -side comparison, uh, cutting the same log, the... 291 easily can cut it in half the time so in an upcoming video what we're going to be doing with the ms250 is we're going to be putting an expansion pipe exhaust on it to give it some more either higher rpms or just more um power overall and yeah stay tuned for that video and we'll see you in the next one peace out